Hi, I'm Duncan. I'm one of the commissioning engineers at Arfield. Um, I'd like to just take a moment to show you around the plant behind me, which we've been installing in France during the coronavirus outbreak. This is for one of the leading pet crematoriums in Europe. Um, we've done some work for them previously over the last few years, and this is their recent addition. It's a R300 rotary kiln capable of cremating both horses and dogs. This is our automated ram loading system. There is a hopper door on there which will open up and the horses and the masked dogs can be introduced via this hoist. The hoist will run across and drop the bags into the hopper. So the operator will press the push button to prepare the load. This will open the hopper door. Once the hopper door is open, he can bring the hoist in, drop the dogs or the horse into the hopper, remove the hoist and then he can charge the load with it and press that button. And when he presses that, the hopper door will begin to close. So the waste will be introduced into the kiln in front of me and this is where all the main burning and cremation takes place. So as the dogs are introduced the charge door will close behind them and uh, they will continue to be rotated through a full 360 degrees and slowly they will progress along the incline, cremate and then fall out in the ash pit. All of the waste gases exit the primary outlet through a dilution duct where we inject secondary air by this fan. They then enter into the secondary chamber where we reheat the gases via these two secondary burners. We have to obtain a minimum of 850 degrees C in the secondary chamber to adhere to legislation prior to entering into the filter house or exiting the flow. So we're now on top of the secondary chamber and the gases pass through the secondary chamber before they enter into the filter house. So this is the back of the secondary chamber. The gases will pass out of the green box here, enter into a heat exchanger. The heat exchanger will remove some of the heat from the hot gases, which will be around 850 degrees C above me. This will clean the gases and ensure that they meet up to the legislation requirements, removing any dioxins. The remaining clean gases, might I add, are pulled out of the filter house and they are expelled by this duct up through the flue and out through the chimney. So here's our main rotary kiln overview screen. This gives us all the information we need about the plants. It'll give us our primary chamber temperature, our secondary chamber temperature, the primary burner here. This will light up green when the fan is, is operating and you'll see a flame. We can move on to the secondary chamber. We get the same sort of information here, whether the burners are firing, whether they're on, whether the secondary air fans are operating. We have a loading overview screen. This will give the operator information about the round feeder, the charge door, the harbour door, whether they're open or closed. And they can prepare the load here with the prepare button that I was telling you about before. That will open the hopper door. Once they have loaded, they've moved the hoist out of the way, they can then press the load button. If the machine allows it and temperature is correct, uh, it will allow, allow it to load. So usually you're looking around 300 kilos an hour. So once the machine is hot, it will quickly get up to around 800, sometimes 900 operating temperature. So the remains will transport it via the kiln into the outer vestibule where they will drop into a pit below. Okay, so here we can see some of the ash that we've been cremating over the last few days. So you can see it's a good fine white crumbly ash, which is exactly the consistency we need.